Those who want to contribute, put the intervention button. Uh, thank you, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, I can hear members are already shouting bad girl. On this one, let me be a good girl. Madam Speaker, I, even though I listen and hear what my mem other members are saying, but I actually want to say that there are a few areas where I disagree. When the voice of the church is silent, the nation suffer. And Madam Speaker, I want to say that I agree with the church that they must speak and must call out evil. And it is indeed unfortunate that we find ourselves in a situation where members of parliament can actually be talking back and forth with the church. Did the members of parliament bring this? No. The church brought it upon themselves. And Madam Speaker, they brought it upon themselves that if you look at the last election, the church was very partisan. The church classified my party leader a demon and a devil. And they are not God, because only God knows the heart of man. You told us as the church that President Ruto was ordained by God. When did God unordain him? Or were you listening to yourselves and not to God? This is a very serious issue. The church has a place, a very special place in society. And when you cede that position to politicians, the society loses it. That is why we have femicides, things that the church should address. That is why we have rogue youth talking toxic, toxic to politicians. That is why you have people disrespecting others because the church has decided to take politics ahead of their God-ordained duty. I want to encourage the church leaders to look at Matthew chapter 15. When the Pharisees and the teachers of the law went to confront Jesus and what they told Jesus. Because my time is up, I just want to say that if they look at what is in the book of Matthew, Jesus told them, Matthew chapter 15, they can read all of it, but Jesus told them, these people honor me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. The church needs to do serious soul searching and bring the country back to its moral and rightful place. Thank you, Honorable Jeanette, for bringing this. The Honorable uh, Member for Seme, Honorable James Nickel. Thank you, Madam Speaker. We are talking about a very, a very, very important issue in the country. And I thank Honorable Jeanette for bringing this. It is true, when I walk around, I don't feel proud as a member of parliament because of the things I hear. The church is calling us out. They may not themselves be right. But I think we want to take one thing. We are elected to represent the people. We carry the burden of the people. Indeed, if a society goes wrong, that same society will appoint at the people it has elected, not realizing that the people may be representing the society as it is. So when we are being called out, 